So when I bought this boat, one of the things I uh, wanted different was these lights. I wanted them to be able to go red and white, not just white like this, but red for um, for racing at night or for, for sailing at night. Um, so I'm gonna take this one down and then I'm gonna um, see if I can rewire it to, to be red. I, I've looked on, on YouTube and I couldn't find anywhere where anybody had done it. So, so I'm gonna put it together and see what see what it looks like um, using a red LED loop around the outside uh, and see see what happens strips from Amazon they are um, there are three LEDs every about inch and a half maybe two inches and then there's an area you can cut so you can cut this area and, and shorten it to whatever you length you you like so one complete revolution is about five of these strips so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna cut it right in between the two pads for, for five so basically it's cut like this. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this knife and something to protect the surface. And we're going to strip off the rubber off the top because it does have uh, like a silicon piece over the top to, to protect it from water to make it somewhat waterproof. So we're gonna strip that off. You gotta be careful here not to cut through it and not to cut through your fingers. So it's off. Okay, now so we've got the two pads exposed there. So while you've got it on the um, uh, on this piece of wood here, I'm going to put a hole using this this pin in each of the pads. So now I put a hole in each of the pads. And I'm going to get a piece of wire that I cut earlier. So these wires I cut earlier. And I'm going to take a look. And if you look, one of them says 12 volts and the other one says uh, the minus sign, basically 0 volts or, or ground. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the red one to the power side. I'm just going to push it through this hole. And you may have to play with this a little bit to make it a little bigger. The adhesive on the back might get in the way, just move it out of the way. There is like a tape on the back or a cover for the tape on the back. It might get in the way. So connect it up, make sure you've still got 12 volt. Like so. And then, then you're going to solder them. And I forgot to pick up the solder, so just hang on. My soldering iron is not the best in the world. I'm probably going to end up and it quite easily solders onto the pad. They're actually really easy to solder. I'm, I'm a terrible at this, but. It is quite straightforward. And there we have it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to trim off the wire on the back. Just 
to make it so that it's not in the way. I'm going to run this around the inside, and I'm actually going to start at this point because what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to go through the this hole right here. So thread thread the wires through the hole like so. Put this inside here and then we're going to stick it down. Like that. So it's not, it's not pretty. Not really pretty anyway, um, but it is functional. Okay, so I'm turning to the other side of here. Here is the, the, the old switch, and you'll see that it's got two connections in there already. I'm just going to unsolder or desolder these. Like so, one, and... And two. This one's the power, the, the the cable coming in, the power cable. So it's going to the middle here. So we're just going to put it through here and bend it so it's so it's there. And I'm going to solder it in place. Like I said, I'm not the best solder in, in the world. In fact, I'm pretty pretty terrible at it to be honest. That's that one. And then I'm going to be very deliberate about this. Right, you gotta gotta it's got to be pushed through here. Right, and um, and I had a bit of a debate with myself, right, with which one of these should should be red and which one should be white. And what I thought was when I looked down on it, the one on the uh, port side should be um, should be red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. Uh, the two on the port side and uh, connect to that side. So I want to connect to this side over here with, with the red line. Now we have a switch that goes one way which it goes the other. bathroom um, with the with the lights so there's two lights in here and there you go we're in red mode it seems to work great I've tried to make it as dark as I can still light outside